Hello, thank you for joining us at today's council meeting. So what we have here is a box of Commander Legends that I got from my LGS. We're going to open it up, but these are the promos that came with it. A foil mana confluence and a singer, the Dark Baron, with alternative art. Very, very cool. So more so than any other set, ooh, the seal came right open. Interesting. More so than any other set, though, I am excited for Commander Legends. Hmm. Might have to count the packs real quick to make sure that I have all of them. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and eight. It's just in there weird. So, one thing that I am going to do, I'm going to mix these up real quick. And the reason for that is some of these packs are actually going to be for a sealed event that I'm doing. So I'm going to save them. I'll open them up as part of this video, and we'll have a deck tech as another video. But I really want to make sure that they're nice and mixed up, so it's very random for that sealed event. So not exactly staying put. Okay, so we've got one, let's go two, three, four, five, and six. So I'll open the rest of these and open these six last. These are essentially what are going to be my sealed pool. So if you haven't watched the videos on how to do this, you take six packs and you build your deck from that. Now, with it being draft, it's going to be a little bit different. So, it's 60 cards, not 100 cards. But typically with limited, you have smaller deck sizes. So, if you're doing a standard draft, it'd be a 40-card deck. So, it's kind of in that vein. But then, what you do is you pick your legendary from the pool. And hopefully, with all the partner combinations, you'll be able to build a pretty decent deck. And the other important thing is the single twin rule does not apply because it is limited. So let's see what we've get what we get. I've watched a little bit of these, but I don't know most of the things. Oop, command tower, I'm gonna pull out the really good commander cards, I think. Okay. Just go through these fairly quick. Okay, so we're to our first rare, Magus of the Order. Ooh, then an Avera, the Chaos Bloom. Put commanders here, and then our two legendaries, Kangri, Skywarden. And we've got a, a Lumen Grid Gargoyle and a Prismatic Piper. So I'll basically pull out like good commander cards, foils, rares, and then commanders from each of these. And that's how we'll we'll divide those up. And then my six packs will be separate. So if I paid attention to the number of uh, commons in here, I would have realized, oh wait, you've got that one. So, and horn elves, I will pull out. I like the mace. There's pretty good equipment. Ooh, will is of misfortune. That is a solid hit. Then we've got Amrith, the, the lustrous. Emoti, Celebrant of Bounty, Vow of Flight, and another Prismatic Piper. Well, I did shuffle it up so it makes sense that it would be all mixed in. <laughs> so you get two legendaries per pack. Not too terrible. Fertilid's pretty good. Ooh, diamonds are really good. Okay, so we've got our first rare, which is a Sweet Gum Recluse. Ick. Tekik, the Salvage Splicer. Abomination of Land and the War. A Foil Elgith, Crossroads Augur. And that is cool. So that one is a Foil. So kind of a cool commander. It's got flying, and if you scry... 
instead of scrying, you would draw, and it's got partner. So something like that, you'd want to lean heavily into the scrying. Kind of go through the comments quickly. Ooh, I do love Opal Palace. I'm happy to see it at Common. Let's see. Okay. Monstrous Onslaught. Virtue. Golems. Ooh, this is a great hit. So a Staff of Domination. An Armix Filigree Thrasher. Radiant Sarah Arc Angel. And Crushing Vines. So I guess I was thinking that there's two rares, but there's not. There's just a rare. And do I have that wrong? I'm not 100% sure. We'll just have to, to see how it unfolds. I did not really pay attention to the spoiler season. Oh, I like Foundry Inspector. Just because I do like to be surprised. Diamond. Ooh, Annoyed Altisor. That's a great one. And then at Uncommon, we've got an Arcane Signet and a Command Beacon. And then Jury Master of the Review and Ghost of Ramirez de Petiro and a foil palace sentinels. I don't know, I'm kind of happy with this so far, although I am sad that I pulled the signet in this versus my sealed pool. <sighs> That's the way it goes sometimes. Charcoal diamond, so I've got three out of the five diamonds now, and it looks like there's usually round one land there, so. Canic dragon, humble defector, stinger fling, Spider. Ooh, and we've got our first battle land, I guess would be the way to call them. So the battle bound lands. I'll pull this off to the side. So Vault of Champions does not enter the battlefield uh, untapped unless you have two or more opponents. And it taps for Orozov. White or black. So we've got Quain, the Iterant Meddler, and a Caliph Sunmane Familiar. And a foil fire diamond. That is awesome. That is so cool. Okay, let's continue. If you watched Gavin's opening, he had a little bit of trouble opening these. Oop. Thorn of the Black Rose. I'm not seeming to have that trouble, so... Oops. Got my piles all messed up already. So we got a marble diamond. Then, okay, cast down, strength of the pack, victimize, and the disc. I cannot pronounce that first word, so I'm not going to try and butcher it. And then we've got Alara, Solemn Ritualist, and Isor, wording familiar, with a fin clad fugitives as a foil. Would have been great to get the legendary to go with that in the same pack, but you can't complain. I've got a few more boxes of these coming. I'm not sure if I'm going to try and... Ooh. Armory of Ironus, whenever it attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Yeah. Ooh, another Command Tower, always need those. Commander Sphere, always need those. Then we've got a Revenant, Codex Shredder, a Shimmer Mirror, which I needed a copy of. And then Coercive Recruiter for an Orc Pirate. Blim, the comedic genius. Ooh, showed that one already. So I got a large Solemn Ritualist. And Spectator Seating, the Boros Battle Land in foil. I'll still put it over there because that's really cool. That's our second one. Okay. So go through these again really fast. Ooh, we got a Sky Diamond. I think that's all the, I think it's just marble diamond I miss, or not marble, but the moss diamond, the green one, which is kind of funny because that is the most commonly found one right now. Okay, but we've got a good start on them. So we got sandstone article, oracle, excuse me, frenzied saddle brute, patron of the valiant, court of ire. Ooh, when it enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. Beginning of your upkeep, it deals 2 damage to any target. If you're the Monarch, it deals 7 damage. I'm going to do bad things with that. I'm not even ashamed to admit it. 
That is going to be a fun one. So, decent stack of legendaries already. And we've got a Laffle, the Bounteous Dawn Unicorn. Ooh, Jared. That is awesome. I really wanted to pull that one. So we got a Molder Beast. No Mythics yet. Huh. That's weird. I know I did shuffle these, but I would have expected to see at least one Mythic so far. So, another Diamond. This time Marble. Golem Artisan. Furnace Celebration. Scaled Behemoth. Then we've got a Laboratory Drudge. An Armix Filigree Thrasher and an Arden Intrepid Archaeologist with an Armor Release Sphere Foil and another Prismatic Piper. Now that could be interesting. I could end up with no Piper in my other pool, which would make life difficult for me. Okay, so go through these. Oop, another Opal Palace. Maelstrom Colossus with Cascade, because why not? Fire Diamond. Okay, we've got a Fathom Fleet Swordjack, Kangri's Lieutenant, Imperious uh, Perfect, Court of Ambition. Then we've got the Ray of Master Smith, uh, Brenelin the Moon Kraken, and Welding Sparks as the foil. Just kind of get these all situated. My piles are kind of messy. So we're almost through the packs that I'm not doing my pool from. I've got six after this one. So we'll see what's in that pool. Okay. I'm sure some of those commons will be interesting. So we got open the armory, which is great searching for equipment. Ooh, Grafted War Gear. That's actually not terrible. Confiscate. Yeah. There's our first Mythic! And it's a Mana Drain. I'm just going to set my Mana Drain over there. Ooh, and we've got a Nostro Voice of the Crags. Aroami of the Dead Tide. Merfolk Wizard. Not bad. And a Kinsbale Courier. So kind of exciting. First mythic in the box. I wonder how many mythics per box you'll get with this. Ooh, another armory of Ironus. Another annoyed Altasar. Perilous Mill Mirror, which is a good one. Okay, so we've got a Null Caller, Sunset Pyramid, Horizon Scholar, then a Sazat's Will, and a Bell. Corrupted Observer, Tormod the Desecrator, which is cool, and a Vow of Unity. So that is Tormod of Tormod's Crypt fame. And all we knew about Tormod was he had a crypt. That's <laughs> a really funny story that Gavin told us he was doing his opening. Mine's a little bit different. I go through, ooh, I like Howling Golem. Call back to Howling Mine. Ooh, Ambush Viper, that's a good one. Okay, so we've got Vow of Duty, Thirst for Knowledge, Siren Storm Tamer, and A Court of Cunning. So we've almost got the full court series. Anara Wolvid Familiar, and Kamal, Heart of Carosa, as our second mythic. And then we got a Viscera Seer Foil. Cool Monarch token. Okay, four packs left, and then we head into the sealed stuff, which we'll do a little bit differently. So I will keep that separate from these other piles. Another Perilous Mirror. Okay, so we've got Demonic Lore, Make a Stand, Kumbaj Witches, and then an Amphin Mutineer. Followed by an Al Alina, the Kessig Trapper, and Helena, the Kessig Ranger. So that's cool to get that duo in the same pack. So, man, I wish I had pulled that in one of my other packs because I would have played those in a heartbeat. So we've got the Jalom Tome foil and an Elf Warrior token. Man, 
that would have been good. There's some controversy because they're they're alluding to them being in a relationship without saying they're in a relationship. Because they say, you know, they're partners in more ways than one. Come on, just say they're in a relationship. It's okay. So, sphere. Okay, so first uncommon is interpret the signs. Thought vessel. Yes, need that. Merchant raiders. And rejuvenating springs for our third of the battlelands. Ooh. Ooh. And we've got a Kodama of the East Tree. <sighs> Wonderful. And a Falthus Shadowcat Familiar with a benevolent blessing as the foil and another Prismatic Piper. So I think I've probably got all the Prismatic Pipers from the box. So this is going to be interesting, building that. Okay. Sky Diamond. Ooh, three visits. Kind of skip through Scholar of the Ages, three visits. Great Tutor, Slaughter of the Strong, and an Aurora Phoenix, which I am super happy to see because I love Phoenixes. We've got a Prava of the Steel Legion, a Kangi Skywarden, and Cage of the Hands Foil. Okay, last pack before I head into the other packs. Okay. Go through these fairly quick here. Okay, we've got Vow of Lightning, Explosion of Riches, Noxious Dragon, and a Root Weaver Druid with the Siani Eye of the Storm, and a Dargo the Shrip Shipwrecker, a giant pirate who is so giant that he keeps sinking ships, and then a Foil Demonic Lore. Wow, so I will pick up my piles here. We've got all the commanders there. We'll leave the mythics off to the side here. These are the commander cards that I really like. We'll put the rares on top of that and then the foils on top of that. And I'll do my pool here. Okay, first pack. Ooh, I like Haunted Cloak. That is a good one for white. Ooh, Charcoal Diamond. Yep. Oh, finally Moss Diamond. <laughs> Hope we're playing Golgari and Elves. Okay, so we've got Face Fetters. A Dreamstone Hedron, which is good because it taps for half of the cost. And you can also draw. Ooh, Feast of S Succession. Seb McKinnon art, just absolute perfection. Okay, I'm happy to see this one. Uh, Rings of the Bright Heart as our first rare. And then we've got Rack the Thumbless, and then Hamaz, Guardian of Ashran, with a Crow of Dark Tidings, and our Spirit Token. I'll put the tokens together. Okay, so, so far just one of the colors that we got a good thing for. <laughs> another Cartographer, another Fertilid. Yes, Farhaven Elf would be good. Turn to Dust is good. So we've got Mindless Automaton, Ordeal of Nylea, and all the champions, which does not help us with it being Orisa. Okay, so we've got the Turtle Shaman, Arch Elos Lagoon Mystic, Malcolm Keen Eyed Navigator, and a Maelstrom Colossus. Huh. I'm not sure what to play at this point. Let's see what we get in our third pack. Oop, Howling Golem. Ambush Viper. I really hope I get to play green. Oop, Sese's Ring. Path of Ancestry. Really nice. Oop, Fleshbag Marauder. Then we've got Vow of Wilderness. And Guildless Commons. This could have been at, at common rather than uncommon. It would have been great. Burning Anger, and then Training Center. So I think we've almost got all of them. I think I'm missing maybe the Zerical Gari one in this. I think so. Okay, so we got a Glacian, 
and a breaches brazen plunderer with strategic planning. So my lands look great. I could do is it. That may be what I have to do because I'm not getting the green commanders that I want to play the green things that I've got. Oop, Foundry Inspector. Oop, Fire Diamond. Moss Diamond. Okay, so first uncommon is Mindless Automaton. Oop, Penion Blade, that's definitely a good one. Guilt Leaf Winnower. Ooh, that's a good one. And then we, ooh, 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 ooh. We got Sphinx of the Second Sun. Tago Goblin Weaponsmith, and Thessaly, Reverent Medium. Mm. With a, oh, a Hans Erickson coming out for the gruel. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can tell, but this is one of those new cold foilings. Mm. Not a sign of bending at all. Wow. And some of my other foils are starting to show it. So... Uh. That harks all the way back to Ice Age. Ice Age. Okay, so Gift of Paradise. It's a good one. Ooh, Thorn of the Black Rose. Terramorphic Expanse, definitely going to be needed. So we got a Brass Herald. Lightning Red Crew. Pride of the Perfect. Uh, Saskiyama's Protege. Ooh, Kedis, Embercloth Familiar. Slurk, all ingesting. So, yeah, now I could do some gruel stuff. Intangible virtue is the foil. And it's got just ever so slight. It's not quite started bending yet. Okay, so let's go through this. Another haunted cloak, which is useful to have. Another thorn. We've got Commander Sphere, another Sissy's Ring, another Path of Ancestry, so Skilled Animator, Hunter's Insight, Ingenuity Engine. Ooh, that's fun. Then our... Ooh. Commander's Plate. That is a great card. That is a great hit. So Gilarna, Collar of Wirewood, and Nadir... Agent of Druskanel, and then Prying Eyes is our foil. So we have a fair amount of options. I do have Horazov and Izzet for the Battlelands. So Nadir, Galana, Slurk, Kedris, Hans, Thessaly, Tago, Breaches, Glacian, Malcolm, Archelos, Hamas, and Karuk. Or Karak. Definitely want to have that one. Yeah, that might be interesting. Could definitely put these others in there. So just need to figure out the commanders, and I'm definitely going to be playing this one and definitely going to be playing this one. But I'll keep my my options available. Wow, this was a fun box. I cannot wait to build this deck. That'll be at a later deck tech, so I'm going to keep all these cards separate from my other ones. We had a total of the five uh, Battle Bond type lands. We had four Mythics. It's okay. It's, it's not absolutely fantastic, but it's not terrible either. But so many cool commanders and so many good commander staples. I'm really happy with this set. I'm so excited to try it out. Well, thank you for joining us today. Hopefully this was a fun video for you as much as it was for me. If you want to know when we're having our next meeting, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell notification and you can join us in our Discord. Uh, thank you all for joining us today. And the meeting is now adjourned. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.